ever thought about your life as a movie? More about this empowering analogy right after the intro. Welcome to Analogies. Are you ready to explore? I'm the Freedom Explorer. You can think of me as that part of you who likes to see things from here, from here, from there, from any angle. And while you get in touch with that adventurous, curious part of you, I present you the analogy of the day. Life, your life, as a movie. What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite kind of movie? Is it an action movie? You like to see the action? You like to see the car chases? You like to see the shooting? Or maybe is it suspense genre? Yeah, suspense, not knowing what's going to happen. All the cliffhangers. What's going to happen next? Who's the killer? Who's the murderer? Is that what makes that for you? Or maybe these are drama movies. The peak of the drama where the main character says, yes, you're the woman of my life. <gasps> these kind of moments, or maybe even comedy movies when you laugh your ass off. Yeah, when they do this extreme ridiculous stuff. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of movie? Think about it. Now, you're stepping inside the movie theater. Yeah, however, you don't know what movie is playing. But you see it there. Maybe you have your favorite popcorn or your favorite snacks. You walk inside, go to your seat, and the movie starts. You're there sitting, everything pretty dark, Maybe you're, it, it is just you in the movie theater. But the movie starts. You have no idea even what's the name of the movie. But it is still pretty exciting. What happens right now? You see the movie. You see the main character. You're not really sure if they are men or women. But you see them. It is the day of their lives. It looks a little bit similar to your life. And then it zoom in into their face and it's still a little bit blurry. But then it, it clears up. This is you. This is your life. This is your life as a movie. Pretty exciting. Pretty exciting, you see your life as a movie. And now, it fast forwards, and you see all your life. And then you realize, in some moment in your life, like it will happen to most people, you will see your life flashes in front of your eyes as a movie. And then you say to yourself, it's better be worth watching. Make sense? It is your movie. Remember the movies that you like. There's action there, something is happening. There's challenges there. There's a little bit drama, a little bit action. Also some comedy. We better make our life interesting so it will be worth watching when it will flash before our eyes when we are at the end of our lives on our deathbed but wait a second you see the movies here but this is not a regular seat it is your it is the director set this is your life movie but you're the director you're also the actor. You're also the screenwriter. Yes, you are in control. This is what makes this analogy so empowering. It reminds us that the power is in our hands. We are the directors. We are the screenwriters. And we are also the actors. 
We are there in the scenes. Take the control back into your hands. Make your move an interesting one. And also don't be worried too much with the challenges. It just makes it more interesting. When you have some problems, it just makes it more interesting. You can, you can do the triumph over there. Think about it. The bigger the problem, the bigger the glory. Yeah, because that's a movie. Think of your life as a movie. Make it exciting. Make it challenging. Make it worth watching for you. At the end of your days, when you're sitting there on your rocking chair, 70 years old, 80 years old, thinking about your life, make it worth watching for you, for your grandchildren. This is what this empowering analogy is all about. Reminding ourselves, it reminds us that we are the directors, we are the screenwriters, we are also the actors. So think about this analogy. Remember that you are the control. Write the new script, change the script, direct your own movie. And if you have other insights about this empowering analogy, don't hesitate and comment below. And if you have other ideas about other empowering analogies, also comment below so we can explore them in the next episode of Analogies, aka the Empowering Analogies. So comment below and let's meet in the next episode of Analogies. The Empowering Analogies. See you in the next episode.